Getting the facts and giving hot takes. Getting the stats, he never takes breaks. Always there for you. He's like a mesh. Welcome to another Zoe Bull Empire update. I'm your commissioner, Andrew Skalitsky. We have two teams making their way to the top of the points four chart, and they happen to be sitting on first and second place. Jason Cole and Joe Hoover. Jason Cole's benefited from having the best running back in fantasy football. Turns out, that gets you a lot of points and wins you some games. Joe Hoover is back at 3-0, and a large points four, just like last year, except this time he's doing it without Christian McCaffrey. He's changed his name to Let Russell Cook, and that's what Seattle and his team have been doing. Last week, Joe scored 67% of his points with Russell Wilson and Tyler Lockett alone, coming into a big win for his Vince, and now he's not too far away from getting Christian McCaffrey back. Another fun matchup last week was watching Josh and Caleb face off with their two quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson and Mahomes. Josh is the one that ended up winning the surprise match with Mahomes destroying while Lamar Jackson looked, I think, rather average. It's not a huge surprise to me, considering I picked Josh to win it all, and I still stand by that statement. That brings our current standings to Joe, then Cole, then myself in third place. Then we have Caleb, we have Josh, and then finally Vince holding on to one of the playoff spots. After that, it's a bunch of people none of us really care about. Until you're in the top six, you're nobody. There's two matches that really take my interest going into this week. The first one being Joe versus Matt. This one's interesting to me because they're both missing their RB1s, Barkley and McCaffrey. However, Joe's the last remaining 3-0 team, and he's currently projected to lose this matchup. So it's interesting to see if Joe can hold on to the lead, and interesting to see if Matt can do absolutely anything. The next matchup is Caleb Rondos versus Vince. Now, I projected them both to miss the playoffs this year, and only one of them can unfortunately lose this game. I'm not sure who that's going to be, but my guess would be on Caleb Rondos losing this game. After all, he's one of the lowest points scored, and I think his luck will eventually run out. For my worst game of the week, I wanted to check in with Thomas, who was facing off with Mike this week and get a quote on him on how he thinks his team can get a victory this week. Thomas said, I plan to win the same way I won last week. Easily. Best of luck to both of you. Alright, well that's your quick Zoe Empire update for this week. Next week, we'll be back with my new segment, Hot Takes and Hot Tubs, as well as an interview with Joe, who is currently first place in our league. Best of luck to everyone, unless you're Josh, who's facing me. See you next week. He's like a mesh.